so the the need right now is to to get at least educated about what other people like Cisco, what other larger enterprises are doing, and then maybe adopting or embracing some of that methodology, and right. then saying, yeah, I need an expert who can help guide me right. and to navigate these things. Right, so uh, right now, the lack of tools is, is one big problem for several sectors of the market, but so is the lack of understanding of what needs to do. Right. A lot of people confuse social media with just an opportunity to speak to more people, right? And that's just, uh, that defeats the power or defeats the purpose of social media. It's really one-on-one -on -one engagement that you can tap into to amplify the message that you have. And unless you participate in those conversations, you're not gonna get an opportunity to meaningfully speak to them. And, and they're gonna just, filter out the noise from the signal and you're going to be a part of the noise. So what do you feel about what people who are thought leaders acknowledge and, and obviously have done very well for themselves? They talk a lot about life stuff. Correct. And in between that, there's a little business stuff that might be here. This is an interesting link for you to look at. Or, um, obviously, Laura Fitton is a great example of that, where she was manically tweeting all the time, and a lot of it had nothing to do with business at all. Do you feel that that's that too many people doing that is creating what I call net lint? Or do you feel there's still a real value to establishing a real personal connection with someone by showing many facets of your personality and of your brand's personality? So, I'm of the opinion that there is no right and wrong answer for it. I think what you're going to find, just like, and I come from the email world, right? I, I built and, and ran one of the larger email services companies in, in the country and possibly in the world. Um, so just extending the, the channel like from mail to e regular postal mail to email is a revolution that I lived and was a part of. Now I see email evolving into social media. And when you come back to what should you say, I ask you the question, is there rules and norms of what to say over the telephone? Or what kind of tele telemarketing you should do? Are there rules and norms of what kind of email marketing you should do? There isn't. It really what works for you. It's the same way in social media. I don't personally think that every brand needs to put a people face on theirs. Because people, if you surveys have shown repeatedly that consumers go and like a brand or fan a brand or follow a brand to get coupons. So there is... Um, there is a definite need. Laura's example, her brand is very closely related to who she is. So it makes sense to put that personality, let it shine through. But if you are in a business relationship and people are following you for strictly business reasons, you do want to be professional and personable, but don't confuse that with the consultant um, idea of putting your life out there. I personally don't think you should post your kid's picture on your company Twitter handle to make it more uh, more personalized. I think I don't think it's just a misconception that um, I think the early adopters have spread in the in the media. I, I happen to agree with you on that point for sure. So uh, there's so much more we could talk about. I could pick your brains for hours, but I just want to thank you for taking the time now to chat and, and g share some of your observations, which hopefully will help some people out there who are struggling to make decisions about what should they do, what should they not do. I think you've given a lot of good educational information for those folks. And where can they find out more about your company? Uh, sure. Um, so my company is called Sprinkler. It's like the lawn sprinkler um, or the fire sprinkler, right? So we help grow relationship one at a time. And that's the analogy. You'll put out brand fires. You know, that's why we call the company Sprinkler. But it's Sprinkler without an E. S-P-R-I-N-K-L-R.com. You can find me on Twitter. It's Raji Thomas. It's R A G Y T H O M A S on Twitter, on LinkedIn, Facebook, same ID. Thank you so much, Raji. I really, really appreciate it. Happy to connect everywhere.